Have you ever just sat there and just randomly have the thought, huh, I want to make a game? Well, that was me. This video depicts my one month of making totally awesome <coughs> crappy games. With that said, let's get this video started. So first I had to decide what engine to use, and since YouTube kept shoving gold up videos down my throat... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. No perverted into windows. You know who you are. Anyway, I decided to check out the Godot engine since it's completely open source, meaning my broke ass could actually afford it because it's completely free. So I downloaded that sucker, I made a project, and I launched it, and I totally knew what I was looking at, and I totally knew what I was doing. Yeah, I had no clue what I was looking at. So I did the next best thing I could, and I went in an intense learning section. Yeah, intense, I know. <laughs> After all that intense learning, I made this highly revolutionary, sophisticated program that you will see here in a second. Yeah, it prints out Hello World in the console, I know, how advanced. Anyway, that code then turned into this thing here. Don't have any idea how it works, but it does, and that's all that matters. When you run it, it opens this really crappy word game. Yeah, I even acknowledge how crappy it is in the welcome message. Anyway, you give it some input and then it presents to you this amazing story by this degenerate weeb here. Totally original story, by the way. <laughs> I then made this another game. In this case, it was a very simple crappy platformer. I did some coding, which no one wants to see the amazing code that totally worked when I ran the game. Just ignored the player flying into oblivion. It totally didn't happen and worked perfectly as intended. I then did some fixes and yeah, still broken. Uh, we'll just leave that for future me. I moved on to do some animations for our static character, did some more coding, and there we go. He's no longer flying into oblivion, which is already an improvement, and look at him go, he's sonic fast. I then added some platforms and background, and they ran totally fine without any errors whatsoever. Totally. After some more coding and visual updates, we got this, and as you can see, I added a very professional looking game over screen. Even better, I made this amazing looking UI that I placed in the best possible position I could have. Yeah, no, it's garbage, but it's my garbage, okay? Anyway, I play tested the game, and let me tell you, the game movement is amazing, definitely not garbage, and I definitely didn't die so much that I had to go into the editor and make the game easier, and I totally didn't die a bunch. Still, after doing that, and I totally beat it first try because I'm a true gamer. Anyway, I then made another game following a tutorial, in this case it was a top-down stealth game. I learned how to do some auto tiling. Yeah, I have no idea how it works, but it does. I made this simple test level and ran the game. And yeah, it's it's this thing. <laughs> I then made the level darker and added a flashlight to the player, as you can see. Because why not? Did some more coding, and we now have a security camera that can detect the, our player so well, even through the walls, as I definitely intended. I then added some very smart guard AI into the game that notice the player right away and don't just ignore the player when you are right next to them, they totally don't. I added some furniture and more decorative items just to give the game a little bit more flair and to make things a little bit more interesting, such as, you know, plant here that you, you see on screen. <laughs> I then added a door with a open and close animation, and let me tell you, this door was so freaking powerful that it clearly crashed my gold dot. And being an idiot like I am, I forgot to save, so yeah. <laughs> After fixing stuff, I added a bunch of doors to the level, because as someone once said, you can't have too many doors. I'm not sure who said that, but I'm sure someone out there did. I then added a night vision mode, and these guards here seem to have something for this chair here. It's kind of, um, kind of freaky. <laughs> Moving away from that, I also started a tutorial by Heartbeats. Definitely check him out. He makes some pretty great content. Thanks to him, I learned how to make animation states following his RPG tutorial. Taking all my current knowledge, I then joined a game jam with a friend, and we made this thing. It's beautiful, right? I know. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen. It's making me cry since I died on the inside working on it since I was severely sleep deprived. It's only had 48 hours to make it. Jokes aside, I made this very simple room to test how things ran, which is what you see me doing here. 
Now the character was very slow, which we definitely needed to adjust the speed for. Now it turns out we were idiots and set the project wrong, so we kind of had to restart, which is what I'm doing here. We fixed all that and got everything back up and running. I then added some animations to the character and added some more code to make the animations work. I then made a tree and spammed it all over because why not? I added some random code and ran the game and now we have this amazing looking uh, thing. Look at him go, he's so majestic and yeah he can now shoot which definitely works just as intended and it totally doesn't crash the game whenever a projectile hits the tree. Yeah, no, the, the tree's too powerful. <laughs> anyway, I fixed these issues and I even added a goal that changes the level. I also added an end screen and a start screen. They look like crap, but it'll work for now. I added some code for an enemy and I added it to the game. He pretty much just follows the player once the player is in range and he kind of goes through everything at the moment which is apparently a thing and he can apparently also kind of you know um, float on water uh, which you can see here in a bit and yeah those are some issues I needed to fix. After dying on the inside for a bit, I managed to fix the issues, and you can now actually shoot the enemy, which is, you know, kind of important. I then actually worked on a second enemy and added it to the game as well, and, um, yeah, instant death if the player health was working. Anyway, I made a lot of fixes, and here's the end result. game anyway that's the end of this video if you want to see the full game jam game i am planning on releasing a full video on that later don't know when yet but i will eventually get around to it and also if you like the video then consider subscribing or else i'll cry myself to sleep anyway uh, jokes aside i hope you guys did enjoy the video and if you want to play any of my crappy games god knows why you want to uh, but i will put the link in the description if you want to check them out anyway hope to see you guys in the next one.